Good afternoon. My name is Pranay Singh and I'm a chef by profession and a great foodie by passion. I am an alumnus of the Oprah Center of Learning and Development and have worked with the Oprah Hotel and Resorts in India at different locations. After several years of working in the kitchen and learning the rope, my culinary journey led me to the doors of the Koram, a private member club in Gurgaon, India, where presently I am working as an executive chef. Working in the hospitality industry allowed me the opportunity to explore various cuisine and flavors across the globe, which helped me form my own food philosophy. For me, great meal consists of simple and honest flavors, which often begins with the great produce. At the Quorum Club, we believe in working with only the very best produce from across the globe and one such example is the ingredients we source from Quality New Zealand. Quality New Zealand seafood is also sustainably reared, farmed and its low fat and high protein content makes this a favorite option for those who are watching their weight but don't want to skimp on flavor. We are especially excited to experiment with their newly launched blue whiting and create dishes that our members won't forget soon. While we may be at the different ends of the world, quality New Zealand goes above and beyond to make sure that we receive the very best produce to work with. I love the fact that Easy, it is easily available at all the supermarkets and stores like Big Basket, Food Hall, Le Marche and Nature's Basket which makes it an accessible product for all the food loving person. The dish which I will be showcasing today with the crumbed blue whiting is with the Asian slaw and coriander lemongrass aioli. Thank you. Uh, to make the Asian slaw for the complement of the fish for the blue whiting, we need ingredients like Chinese cabbage, bok choy, carrot, ginger, coriander stem, and cucumber. So you need around 28 to 30 grams of the Chinese cabbage. Bok choy should be minimum of 10 grams. Cucumber should be 25 grams, ginger should be 2 grams, carrot should be 15 grams and coriander stem should be 4 grams. So I am going to process it. So what you have to do is that you have to cut the julienne. Julienne, so you will just shred it like this. So I keep it here. Then do the same thing with bok choy. So I will keep it here. To make a spicy, sweet and sour dressing called namyam, we need coriander stem, garlic cloves, badai chili, palm jaggery, lemon and fish sauce. So to make this, we put the coriander, garlic and chili in a mixer. And we will grind this and after we have made a rough paste, we will season with fish sauce, lemon and palm jaggery and uh, the blend should be sweet, sour and spicy.
to make a coriander lemon aioli we need coriander leaves around 25 grams 10 grams of lemongrass stick 4 grams of badai chili 8 grams of garlic cloves 40 grams of mayonnaise and one number lemon so what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to grind everything except mayonnaise and lemon and uh, then we will once the paste is ready we will mix it with the mayonnaise and season with the salt and lemon juice so so the coriander lemongrass so we are going to make a paste of this for the coriander lemongrass aioli for garnishing we need few coriander sprigs roasted coconut flakes fried garlic fried shallots and fried lotus chips Salad, we put the ingredients like the finely shredded Chinese cabbage, finely shredded carrot, the pork chai, ginger, and uh, cucumber in a mixing bowl. And uh, we will add the nam yam. This is the dressing which uh, I have shared with you. Uh, that this is the spicy, sweet, and sour. The sourness comes from the lemon, the spiciness from the chilies, the bird side chili, and the sweetness from the palm jaggery. And this is made with the coriander stem, garlic, bird eye chili. So I add the dressing. And I will just mix it. I will season with some salt. And the salad is ready. So I keep it aside. And, and this is the coriander and lemongrass aioli. So I shared with you earlier that I had made the paste of coriander, lemongrass, garlic and bird eye chili and mix it with the mayonnaise and bit of lemon juice and seasoning. So now I am going to plate the dish. Yeah. 